Those are fish bones right there, kids. Guys, it's completely blocked now. Oh God. This pretty much point of no return. Whoa, look at this, dude. It's like a freaking jungle down here. Dude, there's the river. It's a freaking river. This is on our new property. What is up, folks? Welcome back to another video. Now, just the other day, I got the chance to show you guys the new million dollar property that my family and I just purchased. Now, in that video, I teased you guys that there was a massive river on there, which there is, but we have not been able to explore it yet for a variety of different reasons. But today, no more teasing. We're gonna find that river, and by God, we're gonna explore it. Now, we're gonna need quite a few different items, but one of the key items is going to be our kayaks because if we find the river, we're definitely gonna to wanna to hop in those kayaks and go up and down a little bit, just kinda of explore, do some fishing probably as well. Now we've got one kayak right here by the pond you guys have seen a million times. Problem is though, the other one is down there in the swamp. So first things first, we're gonna need this kayak just to go down the swamp and get that other kayak that I guess has just been washed out by storms, rain, flooding, the whole nine yards. Now, I really hope there's not a giant wasp nest in this freaking thing, because we have not been on it in a long time. There's probably like three bass beds underneath it. Watch yourself. Watch for wasps. If we see them, just dive in the water. Oh, okay, we should be good. I don't see anything crazy here. Now, there's about 16 black widows on it, but we can deal with them. Dude, speaking of bass beds, show them that right there with the polarizer cap. Yeah, like I was, we were joking there was bass beds underneath it. That right there is 100% a bass bed. So that just shows you those jokers will put a bed anywhere they can. That's that's freaking cool. Oh God, what is that? A molted bug? It looks like it. Like a skin of something? Good God, I don't know what that was, but it was looking a little treacherous. Another cool part about this kayak, see all these white things right here, folks? Those are fish bones right there, kids. Fish bones, that means the old otter, our good friend Mr. Otter has been grabbing fish out of the pond, taking them here and eating them. Not cool, Mr. Otter, not cool. All right, man, here, I'll grab this end. If you wanna grab that end. There's little handles down there underneath. Well, actually, you just have a regular hand. Oh God, this thing is full of water. Hold on a second. Yes, it is. Woo, hold on, where's the plug in this dang thing? Where, where's the plug, boy? I've synced it. Oh yeah, undo that thing, good lord. Okay, water is coming out, so I suppose we'll just have to hold it here for a few years. Got a nice coat of slime that's just grown onto the kayak. Nice. God, I can't wait to rub that all over my body. All right, let's try that again. Maybe it doesn't weigh a billion tons this time. No, it's not nearly as heavy, who would have known? I'm just gonna kinda get my end up there. Oh. Yeah. All right, well, we just talked to neighbor Daryl and he's actually gonna be our guide to make sure we get to the river safely because apparently it's super sketchy and treacherous to get down to it. First thing first, we gotta get this lost kayak back in our possession. Oh God, ah, the thorns, I forgot to close my door. Ah, oh God, it just tore, oh God, it just tore my leg off. Wow, it just gets hairier and hairier to come back here. Ah, Ah, I just got whipped. Somebody needs to clear this stuff out back here. Good God, who owns this crap? Oh, God. Okay, all right. Wow, we're almost in the swamp. That's good. Probably won't get stuck again, right? So the kayak, oh gosh, I see it. It's way back there. Oh my gosh. That kayak is so freaking deep in the swamp. Oh God, this is gonna be fun, but not really. I know I just said I've never seen a snake down here, but this just feels like a snaky area. Just tall grass everywhere. Perfect hiding places for deadly animals. All right, well, here goes nothing. Huh. Woo! Ow! Why do I always wear shorts? Uh. Woo, okay. Man, I've missed the old swamp. It's actually been a long time since I've been out here. Ha! That takes some incredible balance skills right there, folks. I'm just saying. All right. 
here goes nothing back into the swamp we go i hope i put the kayak plug back in the right way this is uh, the infamous spot you guys will remember where me and Badge tried to dam this up. Oh my gosh! Look at this! This tree's been like knocked over. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I can get past it anymore. Look at this! Guys, it's completely blocked now. Wow, by this huge tree. I don't even know. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hop over this berm right here to get over. Wow, this is uh this is freaking intense, boys. Let me see what other options we have here. Thinking maybe I can just drag the kayak over this berm right here, just toss it to the other side. And that's gonna make getting the kayaks out a freaking nightmare, but what else is new? Welcome to the Low Joe Fishing Channel. Well, I'm gonna have to get out and get wet. That's fantastic. Oh, this water's gonna be so cold. Woo, that water's cold, bro. That water is about 50 degrees. Woo! Good God. Oh, oh, it's squishy too. All right, I think, oh God. All right, now this is snake territory right here. Yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, we're just gonna have to send it right over the top of this former beaver dam right here. Oh, look at this. This is so impassable, like on every level. This is so dumb. Do we really need this kayak? Okay, we made it. Thank God. I cannot believe that tree got pushed over. Of course, we get some crazy weather out here, that's for sure. If you guys wanna see more swamp content, by all means, get in that comment section and let me know. I know we haven't done anything in a while. That's partly because it's been winter time and you know, you just don't wanna get wet when it's cold. It's just one of them things. I don't know about you guys, I don't like that. I see her. I see the orange menace. God, how did she get back here? There's just down trees everywhere. Oh boy, we're riding one. We're riding her. Okay, now how are we gonna get this thing out of here? That's the real question. That water is cold every time I get in it. I have not gotten used to it at all. God, this thing is probably full of water. Definitely full of tree leaves. I wonder if I can just turn my kayak around. Well, I'm hoping I can just kind of hold this kayak with one hand and then paddle with the other, which I know sounds impossible. It's probably because it is. Oh, okay, back in the vessel we go. Just gotta get out of here now. Just gonna literally hold on with a handle. Maybe if I try the old ramming technique. Ugh. Ooh, this is actually working okay. Come on, there you go. Oh, it's so close. There's a freaking random stick right there. Go, you might be free, go! Yes, yes. All right, now we just need to push it. Yes, that's kind of working. Oh, as long as the kayak is in front of us, we're fine, I guess. Old Andrew too elected to not come on this journey with me, but to stay behind and operate the drone but that was the absolute best possible decision that could have been made god we're so close we're so close Woo! almost home oh lord in heaven <laughs> my balls Woo i'm up to my balls oh Woo that's cold Yoinks, that is some deep mud. Phone soaked, it's fine though. These phones are supposed to be, they can handle that now, right? <laughs> what a shot, you might actually be able to grab that one, dude. All right, one more to go. Oh, and this one's full of water. Woo, she full. Well, I needed to get a workout in today. I think we're gonna get that accomplished. Ah! Surfing, baby. Yeah, my butt crack's wet. Nice. Good. Ah, 
not yet. Tear it up. Well, after all that, we just talked to Daryl a little bit more about getting to the river across the street because he knows that property like the back of his hand. He helped the, the previous guy who owned it for like 10, 15 years operate it. But he said, there's no way in hell we're gonna get kayaks to the river going in through my property. Now he said there was a chance we could float down the river at a different location and get to that location. But I think for today, since we've never actually found the river, let's just try to find the dang river, okay? because it's just the terrain's so marshy, it's treacherous, it's all downhill. Some of it's like steep downhill, where if you ran your buggy off of it, it would be fatal, potentially. So we're gonna have to pay very close attention to what Daryl thinks and uh, whether or not he thinks we can get down there in our buggy. Should I just leave mine here? No, well, you I think you can make it on there. I was gonna show you. Okay. This is pretty much the point of no return. Once you start down here, uh -huh. you ain't gonna back back up. You go, you're committed. If you ever park here, park sideways. Yeah, don't park that way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I got my foot on the brake right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, do you, should I just give it a try and just see? I think, yeah, since we didn't have no rain in a while, I don't think you'll have no problem. Give me, give me a minute in case I run aground. Gotcha. You're I will. run in the back of me. All right. You can't miss it. You gotta stay on this road or you're gonna be wrecked. Man, this is about to be intense, bro. Yes, it is. I think this is about to be like really intense. Give him a little minute here that way he's got a nice head start because he might see something treacherous <laughs> we're just coming out of the corner he's like waving his arm <laughs> no don't come oh my god i see that log where did he go i don't even know it just drops off so much did you make it oh, <laughs> he said come on all right well here we go he said do not try not to slow down once you hit this curve so god look at that giant log he wasn't lying Okay, okay. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Ooh, it doesn't look too bad. Golly. Okay, it doesn't look that nearly that bad. Whoa, look at this, dude. It's like a freaking jungle down here. All right. Woo! Okay. You know the T post right here? Uh -huh. If you follow this line, it's going to get real thick and nasty off over here. That, uh -huh. They clear cut it. So if you follow this line, pretty much due west. It's due west. Let me look at my. It's going to take you right to the river. I talked yeah, Morgan. Yeah, that, that is due west. Yeah, that direction. Yep. Yeah. And Morgan said it's 300 yards at the very most, somewhere between two and 300. Ooh. This Basically, is, if we shot to that that weird looking fork tree right there. Yes. Yes. Yeah, just, just keep right on there. going that yep, direction. Yep. 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 Exactly. That's, yeah, that's yeah. damn near due west. I yep, mean. That's right. All right, man. Yeah, that's the damn truth. All right, well, Daryl's officially gone. That means we're on our own, man. So let's start our journey. All right, we've got our gun and our waistband. Just in case we see a snake. Got the old black buffalo in the lip. Should be okay there. Got water, right? Got a little bit of water? Yep. In case we get lost on our own property like old, uh, what's his name, Kane Brown? Yeah. Hey, shout out to Kane Brown. I understand, bro. This stuff is not easy. When you get a big piece of land, it, it's... You could get lost, okay. All right, man, you ready to do this? Let's get it. It's gonna be a little treacherous, I think, but by God, there's only one way to find the place. Let's get the old compass out, due west. Let's do it. Dude, Daryl's so right about these little tree knot things, like tripping over them. I've, I tripped over like three earlier already, and I knew that they were out here. Like these little things, they're so, they're so small to the ground, you just don't see them till the last second. 
Dude, if we don't see a snake down here, then there's just no snakes on this property. I agreed. I mean, if we don't see one today, or we're just really lucky. Ooh, that water's a little chilly, Andrew. Is it? Yeah, it's a little chilly. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry for you and your Nikes. Oh, it's all good. I'm man. so sorry. Oh God, there's a deep, there's a deep hole right there on the bank. Good God, that's deep right there, man. That is like hella deep. I'm just about to have to do a little, little steparuski like that. Yeah, I'll extend my hand to you. I think if you just take one big step and grab me, you'll be good. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. We've already crossed two rivers and we're not even to the damn river yet. Wow. Well, if we follow this little tributary, that should go back to the main river, right? I mean, it would probably have to. Is this the river? Is this it? Let's do a map check here. This could be the freaking river. I don't know. Oh no, we're not even close. No, we're not even close. Dude, he wasn't lying though. He said it was really clear in here. Yeah, it is. And it's nice. This is freaking awesome. Guys, I want to hear comments in the comment section, okay? Camping out here, catching cooks by the river, the whole nine yards. I want to hear ideas, okay? Because I want to absolutely exploit this property for every bit of content that we can get. <laughs> Just kidding, but for real though, get in that comment section. I want to hear every single suggestion. We're almost there. I'm getting a little nervous. Uh, we got to be getting close though, because the water is starting to really increase. Yeah. Like the amount of water and the depth of it we got to be getting close oh i see the river i see it it's right there bro oh, oh shoot oh man i see current i just don't know like what's the best way to get there or anything but snake dude there's the river it's a freaking river it's literally a river on the property oh my gosh this is so stinking cool Okay, let's not get snake bit right at the end here. Wow, dude, look at this. Bro, this is crazy. Yeah, this is sick, dude. There is a stinking river. Look at this, bro. This is on our new property. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Okay, you could definitely kayak down this. 100%. Look at this, bro. Well, dude, I mean, I don't, I mean, I want to like, I want to explore. I want to walk it some, but at the same time, I just want to fish now, dude. Like, Got now there's a, there's hella current, so the lures we have are not fantastic for current. But maybe if we keep walking down, you know. But this is obviously a great place to sit and fish right here, or maybe to clean some of these trees up and like run some some tree lines, like Daryl was telling us off camera. I think I'm gonna throw around this little micro clutch for a little while and just kind of see what we're working with here. This thing is absolutely tiny, as you guys can see. Tiny little crankbait, my favorite color shotgun shad. All right, making the first inaugural cast in the river. <laughs> Just snagged, first, <laughs> first cast snagged. Yeah, I think a little square bell would have been a good idea, but okay, we got what we need for now. Oh Lord, that's not attached to the ground too good. Yee, uh, whoa. Hey there, we're good. All right, well the current has just squigged on this one. I don't know, I'm not gonna be able to use this thing. It's just too small and yeah, I hate myself. Did not bring a full accoutrement of uh, fishing stuff because we just didn't know what to expect. We wanted to stay light here, but I have this little lunker log rigged up and I have a feeling weightless lunker log if i can find like a dead spot or something to get this thing in it's gonna get bit God, there's no dead spots right here this is just all all current if i can get it over here across by this lay down whoop oh snagging my line i want it to get right under that tree All right, we're gonna try to walk this river some, folks. We're gonna see if we can find a better place to fish. Now, this is an outstanding spot to do a lot of things, but the current is so heavy right now, we're gonna really try to go back this way and find a dead spot somewhere, some slack water. If you guys don't know, in a creek or a river or whatever, slack water is kind of the ticket if you're looking to catch fish. Oh boy, I'm in the vines. I hate myself. Oh, let's keep on going. Yoink. Yeah, I see a spot where I might be able to cast. My leg! Guys, got another clearing right here. Really cool, clear spot. And there is some slack water. There's one little pocket over there. 
It's another tiny pocket over there, but around the back side of this tree, I think is gonna be a good spot for us to try. I'm not even really expecting to catch fish this first outing. I mean, I'd love to, but really just wanted to find the river and explore it a little bit. But now I feel like compelled to try to catch a fish. There's like overhanging limbs. I mean, this is gonna have to be a really delicate cast. Come on now, Texas rig, you're supposed to be weedless. Don't you change your mind on me now. If I can get this in that slack water, man, yeah. there's something there. He's probably gonna eat it immediately. There we go. Yep. Now the line's gonna be moving pretty dang quick, which is gonna kind of pull it out of there. We need a little bit of a heavier rig, I think, you know? Mm -hmm. That's okay though. See, now we know what this river looks like and we know all the little ins and outs after this trip. We might be able to do a little bit better fishing job next time. No, tree! Dude, there's just so much, man. There's that creek that goes that way. The main river runs this direction, but there's that little tributary or a little creek or whatever that you could go down kayaks, at least when the water's not raging. Golly, this is so freaking intense. Oh, oh, yeah, the old legs are gonna be tore up after this. Oh man, we've got a whole pocket of slack water right here. This is what we needed, folks. All right, anybody home in the slack water? All right, guys, so we've walked a really good portion of this river. Now, Daryl told me that we've almost got like a mile of actual river bank that's on my property, which is just nuts. And this is just a, a portion of it, what we showed today. To really show you guys how big this river system is and how long it flows, we're gonna take you guys about two miles down the river to like the big bridge I think we fished off of before on this channel. And it turns out that river system runs through a property. So let's see if we can get out of here without getting snake bit. We'll take you guys to where it goes out to the bridge area and we're gonna fish that area some. That's where we might kayak in next time. Let's go check it out. All right, let's grab our stuff. I went ahead and brought the old bow fishing equipment with me just in case I see something. I'd love to sling a freaking arrow into something. Now, here we are, guys. So we drove not even a mile down the road, right? What you say? I mean, like a mile from my house? If that. If that. And boom, this is the river, folks. This is the exact river that we were just in. It was just a little bit further down that way where my property starts. Holy moly. This is freaking cool. How cool is this, man? Super cool. There's a little bit of slack water over here. There's not a lot here either, though. There's not a lot of slack water in general right now. I'm guessing all the rain we've had recently has just been washing all this stuff away. So I'll make a few casts, though, just see. Ha! Oh, that was perfect. That's right in some slack water. All right, folks, gonna wrap today's adventure up right here at this spot. It's very, very specific why I chose this spot to end this video. I want you guys to be hitting that thumbs up button right now. If you guys hit, let's just say 5,000 likes on this video, we are gonna come back here with kayaks and we are gonna float this sucker. I'm, I'm not talking about just floating it to our property. I mean, that would be the goal, but I wanna float it as far down as we can go and safely get out again, not get trapped in the river. We're gonna go fishing next time. We could do a catch and cook if you guys want to brim, bass, there's alligators out here. There's so much stuff. There's bow fishing. I'm sure there's giant gar in this creek along with bow fin, other kind of trash fish. Might even be a carp or two, you never know. So 5,000 likes guys, let's make it happen because I really want to come back here and I want to do it anyways. Anyway folks, I hope you guys are enjoying these property uploads. There are many more coming, so make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel and hitting the little bell notification. That way you guys do not miss an upload. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. <laughs>